Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Sonny Cocker and welcome back to the video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fantastic and I want to thank every single one of you that's new and old to the channel for joining me in these videos. You have been cracking it lately. You've been giving me more comments, more subscribers and we're growing rapidly. Thank you all so much. Despite my absence, the channel is still growing and I love to see that and I keep reacting to comments of course. So today we're going to be covering the Galaxy Watch but before we do that we have to cover uh, we have to address a little something because you recently saw probably a video of me looking at an Yves Montcrum watch and uh, Yeah, it's already broke the second hand just gets stuck and it's still stuck It's like stuck for 20 minutes right now, and uh, it doesn't want to move. It's just Completely stuck until you like give it a good old whack And even now it's not working anyhow It's broke this is my old watch and that one has a second hand problem as well. So, what did I want to do to fix that? I wanted to get a watch that was smarter. Well, <laughs> I could go with any digital watch really. But uh, yeah, I wanted a smart watch because that fits more with my style, my tech and my whatever. And it's about the same price, so why not just go with a smart watch? So I bought this Galaxy watch for like 228 euros or something and I'm loving it so far. The, I'm losing like 1% battery every hour, which is great. Uh, there's also some things I have to clarify. A lot of people don't know this, or Samsung is not very clear on it either, but if you Google for Spotify Premium on the Galaxy Watch, it will only pop up when you search for the Special Edition version. Some people will think that only with the Special Editions, the S3 Frontier Edition, and the Galaxy Watch Special Edition that you are able to get Spotify Premium and download apps uh, or download offline songs to it. Not the case, you can do that with the regular offline version. So that's very important. The Spotify on the Galaxy Watch is definitely supported even if you don't have LTE. Speaking of which, this is the 46mm non-LTE model, non-special edition model. This is just a regular silver Galaxy Watch and uh, yeah. That's the one I got. Uh, I'll show you some specs up on screen right now so we can just get that out of the way and then soon we'll just go into a top-down view and just show you all the features that are on it uh, that are very important. And then at the end we'll just give a general rundown of like what I really like about it, some things that might can be improved, that sort of thing. So let's go and have a top-down view. Okay everyone, so there's a lot to talk about so let's get started immediately. To open it up you can just press any button really or rotate the bezel or even touch the screen. If you have enabled that, we'll go over the settings in just a minute. The first thing that I really want to show you though is a setting that is in watch faces, I believe... Yes, watch only mode. If you turn this on, it will go into a super low power state which will guarantee you a battery life of somewhere around a month or longer. So that's really really cool. Uh, for the people that are going out for long trips and don't take the battery charger with them, they can go into watch all only mode, which will disable the smartwatch features, but it will definitely help out battery life and will give you about a like an entire month's worth of battery and even more. So that's something I really wanted to tell you. Um, then you can scroll to the left with the touch screen or rotate the bezel as well. And I really like this bezel, by the way. And here you get your notifications, which if you get any, you can like push them up to delete them. You can tap on them to open them, or you can scroll all the way to the left of the device if there are any notifications. And then you'll be able to see uh, a clear all button, press that, clear all the notifications. And again, you can also read your notifications, very handy. Now let's see, uh, there's also a couple watch faces. The watch face that I got on it currently is actually the same one as I have on my old one. So here you can see that I've basically mimicked them. So this is my own watch face, like I said, I created it myself and I've taken a lot of inspiration from my previous watch that I really like. So uh, yeah, that's cool that you can create your own watch faces if providing you have a computer that can run it and uh, you know how to do all the image imagery and all that stuff. I'm gonna make another video uh, for you guys that will show you how to make your own watch face. I will also show a video of like the health features that this watch has. I'll talk a little bit briefly about the health features on this watch, but I'm not going to go into depth on it. And then there is good night mode. Good night mode in the quick settings, you can scroll down like that. And good night mode is basically, well, turns down to notifications and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll actually go into the like actual settings and look at it a little bit more in depth. Uh, you can change the display brightness. You got 10 levels here, so that's cool. Uh, let's see, we've got theater mode, so if you go to the movies and you don't want the watch to like disturb you at all, you can go into theater mode, and then it won't disturb you. 
Uh, then over here, what do we got? That's the ringtone volume, which we can turn up or suppress all the way if you don't want to be disturbed by it. This watch does have a microphone and speaker, so you can make calls on it. So that's really cool. Uh, do not disturb mode. And you can set it for one hour, two hours, three hours, or all alerts except for alarms will be muted and blah, 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 blah until you do whatever you have to do. Uh, let's see, the screen will be muted. The screen won't turn on to show notifications. Turn off watch always on and wake up gesture. So basically everything is gonna be disabled when you do do not disturb mode. Uh, and then there's settings and there is battery saving mode and this will allow you about half a month of battery. So that's cool. Uh, what is this? Let's take a look. That's just, yeah, this is the battery setting. So here you got default. It's, it estimates me for about two days and four hours left on battery, but I am having the screen all the, on all the time. Power saving, we'll double that. Then watch only mode will now give me still a month of battery life, 31 days and nine hours and 56 minutes. That's really cool. Uh, there's some like watch always on features here again. You got your screen timeout setting, location tracking. You can turn it on and off, uh, but those can also be generally found in the settings, which we'll go over in just a minute. Then again, the find my phone feature right here. And yeah, it just rings my phone. Very handy, if it's within range, of course. Uh, then this is, I believe, yeah, water resisting mode. So what it will do now is it will disable the touch screen from any input whatsoever. And it will simply only respond to this button and you have to hold it for a while. Then it will make some noise to eject water. Uh, so that's really cool. And you're gonna let you shake it, of course, to t get all the water out. You can swim with this thing, so that's cool. But uh, you don't go too deep with it. And if you go into chlorine water or salt water, do some fresh water over it to like clean it out and rinse it out. Uh, very important. And uh, well, let's see, what else do we got? Well, your location tracking, of course, you could turn it on and off. Wi-Fi, you could turn it on and off. I recommend you keeping it off at all times unless you have to download something, but most of the stuff will be done through the phone. You don't really need the Wi-Fi on the watch itself. It just drains battery a lot faster. So to go over the apps that are on the, the watch, there is actually quite a few from the default. So you got your recent apps that show up here. You got phone, contacts. You can browse through your contacts on your phone. Uh, Spotify is default not installed, but I installed it. So if I'm gonna work out in the future, I wanna use that. Samsung Health for all your health tracking. We'll go over that in another video in more in depth, but we'll show you a brief um, like show that rundown of the health app today. Uh, Samsung Galaxy Store app. Uh, and this is where you can get all your new watch faces and other apps that you want to install. Settings, PPT controller. Here you can transfer your files to your uh, computer relatively easily. Uh, then there is the Samsung Flow. I don't know what that is, but it's some like Con device continuation type thing. Uh, find my phone again is in here. Reminder, music, gallery, weather, alarm, world clock, calendar, and it syncs up with your phone cal uh, calendar. And don't be worried, you don't need a Samsung calendar for it. It will just go into your Google calendar uh, and read off of that. Then there is Bixby as well, and an altimeter, barometer, and news briefing. So you can get some news depending on what topics you pick on the first time you open up the app. I've got it set to tech, of course, so I'll get some tech news and scroll through it. Now, Bixby is nice. It can be useful. Uh, I mean, it's not Google Assistant. XDA developers released an article on how to get Google Assistant on the Galaxy Watch though, so I'll put that in the description down below, so you can follow that if you want to. And activating Bixby is very simple. You can just double tap the home button, and Bixby will activate, and then you can say, set an alarm for 6 a.m. Well, it detected everything, but yeah, you can see it works pretty well. And I can, like, let's try it out for real this time. Set alarm for 7 a.m. And there you go, your alarm is set. Very easy like that. And uh, very useful. So let's go into the settings and look at a little bit more deeply at what is available. So first is watch faces. So you can swap between your watch faces, but you don't really have to go into the settings for that. You can also just hold down on the watch face and then just swap over if you want to. Uh, then there is, let's see what else is on here. Uh, watch always on. So if your watch face has an always on mode, then this will turn that on. 
uh, watch face order this will like show you like the order of uh, it's not really important but it's the the order in which the watch faces appear when you scroll through them uh, when you show let make them show up an hourly chime every hour make the watch go uh, go off a chime although this is uh, d disabled by default because it's really annoying uh, all digital watches used to do that it's super annoying a notification indicator a little orange bubble that pops up on the left at the nine o'clock mark then there is a status indicator which shows up at the bottom that shows you whether or not you're connected or not to anything um then let's see there's a background style so if you have a transparent watch face then you can have the background as well if you want that you can change the font uh, and go into watch only mode right here then sound and vibration uh, sound mode you can go into vibrate only sound mode or mute entirely so that's cool uh you can vibrate with sound as well if you want that you can change the volume of your ringtone you can change the volume of your media your notifications and your system volume and you have to like know how to navigate this watch pretty like well because <laughs> as you can see with the volume uh, you can't navigate that with the ring the ring is to up and down the volume and you have to like scroll through this with your finger uh vibration intensity because that's light or strong uh honestly i don't notice that much of a difference they both seem really strong <laughs> uh then there is a long vibration for calls and notifications so it will vibrate a little longer uh, ringtone you can change that as well if you want to i don't think you can set it to something that you've done uh, yourself yeah you can't really use your own ringtone sadly ringtone vibration you can change that to different patterns if you want to uh, notification sound you can also change that the notification vibration touch sounds do not disturb mode theater mode and again hourly chime i don't know why it is appearing here again but yeah theater mode let's see keep your watch silent and the screen off mute all alerts alarms and system sounds turn off watch always on and wake up gesture so again theater mode is much like good night mode it's just for when you do not want to be disturbed display you get your brightness you got your auto low brightness so it will turn down the brightness if you're in a like a very dark room so you don't get blinded screen timeout show last app so the amount of time it takes for it to remember uh, the last app that you used uh again background style font watch always on and water lock mode water lock will basically disable the like, touch screen it will disable well let's see to prevent unattended interactions water lock mo mode blocks touch screen wake up gesture and watch always on so basically it shuts down like somewhat temporarily so, so that you can only activate it through uh, the use of the buttons uh, when you're underwater you don't want this thing to like do all kinds of weird gestures when it like, is touching water because water is conductive like my skin and it will just interact with the touch screen so you can turn it on and off and then if you have some water in the speaker and after you've exited water lock mode which i'll show you right now water lock mode it just locks down the entire phone you can only navigate it with the buttons and in order to get out of it you'll hold down the home button it will vibrate the speaker to like eject the water and if that didn't help very good and also it will tell you to lightly shake to remove everything and then there is also a water lock mode eject water again if you want to do that manually so if you need that then it's there advanced so you can do double press home key and do whatever you want so you can remap the bixby button to any other app that you want so that's very cool uh, then there is the wake up gesture so if you rotate your wrist that will turn on the watch then there is a touch to wake up i've turned that off because i do that too often bezel wake up you can also turn it on and off uh let's see what else we got touch sensitivity you can turn it on and that will basically mean that you can use gloves with the watch so that's cool uh, so we're going to capacitive mode or something then there's do not disturb theater mode good night mode daily briefing which i actually kind of like so you can set at which you want to at which times you want to get your uh, your briefing for the day uh i've set it at like default which is like 8 a.m uh till 10 and 10 p.m those are the evening summary and the morning summer summary of like what's going to happen with the weather and like news and stuff so that's really cool i really like that feature uh, you can edit the quick settings if you want to so if you're not happy with that you can change that as well so you can like move them around add new ones remove old ones uh, so that's really cool and then screen capture as well uh, i'm not sure if i'm going to use it for this video but you can do it so that's cool 
Uh, read notifications out loud. You can turn that on as well. It's off by default, but it will allow you to go and listen to whatever the notification has to say. It will just read it for you. Uh, the speech rate, the language in which he speaks, flight mode, well, that speaks for itself. Connections here, you got your Bluetooth, your Wi Fi, your NFC as well. You can do tap payments with this as well. If you go down to, let's see if I go to NFC, and then go down here, you can go tap to pay. Uh, no payment apps installed, however. Uh, I don't know how to get some installed actually. There are only a couple that I think are supported, but Samsung Pay is one of them. Uh, sadly, that only works with a credit card. I don't really see that working with a regular old bank account. At least I haven't found anything out yet. Uh, you got your apps here. You got, let's see, permissions, keyboard settings as well. Security, blah, blah, blah. Account, Samsung account, accessibility. Let's see, general input date time reset. There's also some other stuff in here, I believe. Double press the home key again. Bezel wake up. There's some, like, the settings are very scattered around, I have to say. And then here in battery, you can switch between default, power saving, which will double my battery right now. Watch only mode again, 30 days. Like, that's always really cool. And then some about watch stuff. Like the model number, the serial number, the amount of storage that it has. So I have 1.5 available of four gigs. Uh, you can also look at the status of a couple things and go into debugging mode if you want to install your own watch face. And you can also connect to a new phone. So that's really all the settings. There's a lot of settings in there, but I really wanted to give you a good coverage on what all is possible. Now to navigate through the widgets, it's actually very simple. You can just rotate the bezel, bezel to the right or you can use the touch interface to go to the right and then you'll go through all your widgets that you've added and you got your step counters and everything in there but you can also add new widgets if you want to so these are all the widgets you got your contacts some samsung health stuff like pretty much all of the samsung health stuff uh heart rate monitor like any other like app that has a widget will appear right here and then let's look a little bit into the like samsung health app before we finish off this video I wanted to show you that just a little bit. So let's go into the Samsung Health app. So you get a daily overview of like what you're supposed to lose in calories, what, how many hours you have to like walk around, how many hours you have to exercise. So we'll also show your step counter right here, the amount of like stairs that you've walked, the amount of calories that you've burned, the amount of minutes you have run, sleep, it will track that as well. Heart rate again, stress, calories, weight management. You can track your weight, you can track the water you've drank, you can track the caffeine that you've had in every day, and you can also sport together. So that's all really, really cool. There's also a leaderboard that you can like um, race against the clock against all the other Galaxy Watch users. It's actually pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I think that that is a pretty fully fledged smartwatch. It has a ton of features. Uh, a lot of stuff that a lot of people will be happy with and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to using this thing for the upcoming amount of uh, weeks and months and years really <laughs> and see how well it performs. I'm gonna give you updates on the battery life over the years. I'm gonna give you updates on uh, like I'm gonna show you still how to make your own watch face. I'm also gonna show you the like health tracking how accurate it may be at least I think so. I mean I'm not much of a sporty guy and I still need to get some wireless earbuds but so far, I'm really happy with the performance of this thing. And as you can also see, it doesn't lag at all, really. Uh, so yeah, overall performance, really good. 1% battery per hour. I'm rambling off for too long now. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this little video. Uh, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.